Hello friends, I am Sravana Lakshmi Pisipati and welcome to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will see various storage levels available in Persist in Spark. Before starting with today's video, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel. Please like, share, comment and click on the bell icon for the notifications. In the previous video, we have discussed about the differences of cache and persist methods and how to use them in the Scala code. So today we will see what are the various uh, storage levels available in Spark and uh, what, what is the meaning of each of these and when to choose which storage level. So first one is uh, memory only. So when you choose this storage level, RDD will be stored as a deserialized Java object in the JVM. So if the memory is not enough to fit the RDD, then some partitions will be cached on the fly, like during the execution. Uh, then, the, uh, then the cache will, will happen. So this is the default storage level available in the Spark. Next one is memory and disk. When you choose this storage level, RDD will be loaded into available memory. And if the total RDD doesn't fit, then the remaining partitions will be read directly from the disk whenever they are needed. That's, that is the meaning of memory and disk. So first to the memory and then the it will directly read from the disk. Next one is memory, memory only serializer. In this storage level, the RDDs will be stored as serializable objects as one byte array per partition. In the earlier ones, the deserialized objects will be created. Deserialized form objects will be created. Here in the memory only serializer, the serialized objects will be created. And next one is memory and disk serializer. So it's a similar to memory only serializer, but the remaining partitions uh, will be read like once it is fit into the memory the remaining partitions will be there right so they will be read from the disk instead of recomputing them on the fly but it, the main difference between normal memory and disk and this one is uh, the serialization the objects will be serialized in this option and uh, next one is disk only so in this storage level rdd partitions will be cached only on the disk and in this uh, remaining things you can see right the same options the same storage level but underscore 2 underscore 3 you can see such kind of options so those are like it's uh, the functionality is uh, similar to the above levels but uh, the replication of each partition will happen on two cluster nodes when you mention as two it will it will happen on two cluster nodes when you mention as three the replication will happen on three cluster nodes and next one is off heap off heap actually similar to memory memory only serializer um, but uh, the rdds will be stored in the off heap memory instead of normal cache memory it will the i mean uh, it, it the the rdds will be stored in the off heap memory available in the cluster so these are the various uh, storage levels available in Spark in, in the per persist uh, transformation. So uh, we will just see how to uh, use them in the code. This is the code that we have discussed in the previous uh, video as well. So storage level dot and you can pass whatever storage level you wanted to use and you have to import this library org apache spark storage and storage level this library you have to import for using this uh, method and coming to the when to choose which uh, storage level and let's say if you have enough memory in the cluster uh, to cache the entire rdd then it's better to use the default persistent level which is the memory only and uh, this is the most efficient options uh, due to the in-memory computations and uh, this is the fastest approach when compared to the other levels. And also if you don't have enough memory uh, to cache the entire RDD then uh, go for uh, this memory only serializer. Because here it uses the serialized, uh, serializable objects, it will uh, take less memory uh, fit into the memory. For fitting into the memory it takes the less space. 
and uh, when you use this memory only serializer you can choose either the java serializer that is available java.io.serializable that method or uh, you have cairo serializer as well you can choose any of these two and objects will be serialized in this and uh, it is comparatively faster uh, when compared to the other see um, like memory only and memory disk because it's uh, the objects are getting serialized here and also let's say you are working on some web services related spark project and uh, where you know that uh, some node failures will happen uh, frequently and you are looking for fault tolerance uh, uh, then uh, you can choose for these replicated storage levels where this underscore two and all is there right so you can set the replication factor and you can use this replicated storage levels because when uh, the uh, fault tolerance is happening right the main storage levels will look for the recomputing the rdds for the fault tolerance uh, but this repli already replicated storage levels are there right so they will uh, let you continue running the tasks on the rdd without waiting for the recomputer recomputing of the task so that is the main benefit of using this underscore two or underscore three these kind of uh, replicated uh, storage levels so friends uh, these are the main differences available so uh, i mean so storage levels and when to choose which level hope you understood uh, these concepts very clearly thank you for watching the video friends please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you